And finally, on Delaware Perspective this morning, we're talking about a new program between a partnership between the United Way of Delaware and the city of Wilmington. They've teamed up with a new approach to helping young people this summer. It's called the Life Map Experience, kind of a six-week program to help develop life skills and much more. And with me now is uh, Orrin White, United Way of Delaware, as well as uh, Alexandra Coppage with the city of Wilmington and Maquan Higgins also with the city. Thank you for being with us to talk about this uh, uh, really uh, exciting new, new program, especially for young people who are um, looking for summer employment this week. Tell, tell us about the program. I know it's already two weeks in, yes, sir. Um, but, um, but what will it do? What is the hope that it will do for, for young people who are involved? Well, specifically, the uh, Life Map Experience was built to uh, have you take a look at the, what they've been through, to be able to identify the adversity that they've been through in their life. I think for a lot of you, we're so focused on what inherently makes us uh, different, uh, who has a better car, who has a bigger house, and sometimes that can alienate you from the success that you desire for yourself. But if we're able to come together and really focus on what brings us together, adversity. Each and every one of us, no matter where you're from, has been through adversity. So what we get them to understand is that the adversity that you've been through hasn't stopped you, that in fact there were key assets in your life that helped you overcome that adversity. And then once you're able to encapsulate that part of your life, we talk about, okay, who do you want to be? Where do you want to go? Regardless of where you've been, regardless of your community, you have the ability to determine what you want to be your success. And that's what the Life Map does. And, and who, and Alexander, who are the, um, the types of young people that would... Um, um, that would be appropriate for this program. I know the ages are from 14 to 20. Where do these kids come from? These kids come from the city of Wilmington, and okay. how it's determined is through the city of Wilmington Summer Youth Program. And what we do is we ha put out applications and have kids from the city of Wilmington apply. And, and really what Mayor Williams is focusing on is giving this opportunity to need-based kids in the city. So. A large factor is just your, your home's income and what income level your family is at. And that's one major predominant, you know, determining factor as how we assess who's going to be in this program. And then once they're in the program, they get to be placed in jobs throughout the city and Newcastle County to give them job skills. But the partnership with the United Way is so impactful because not only are they getting job training in the summer, they're getting life training mm -hmm. and life skills that can help develop them and influence them and hopefully become productive me members of our community. What kind of jobs are we talking about that runs the gamut? It runs the gamut. You can be working in the city of Wilmington. We have barber shops, hair salon, corporations. You know, Wilmington is a big hub for major corporations and financial banking. Um, so it really runs the gamut. And these kids actually get to share what their interests are. Mm -hmm. And that also influences where they get placed for their job. And McQuan, you've already had an experience with this type of program and you work with other young people. What has the program been like for you and how has it kind of changed your life so far? I mean, as far as me creating my own life map, um, it has really been a, a very um, great experience as far as, you know, creating my life map and creating a story to other people. When I finally got to actually present my life map in front of a group of people, um, just to see the reaction from them after I told my life map really had a great effect on me as far as where I wanted to go in life. And it showed me the adversity I've been through and the success that I want to accomplish. And when we say life map, and we should mention you're a sophomore at Pennsylvania State um, University, Berks campus. So when we say life map, it, we're talking about um, where you've been, where you want to go. I mean, it's right. like a map. It's like a map. It's like your story. If someone was to make a movie about you, how would you want it to be mm -hmm. in, in, in a nutshell? And it talks mm -hmm. about the highs and lows, the triumphs, the struggles, all of that. Of course. And, and, and how has it changed you developing this map? Um, well, now I'm a facilitator, okay. so to see everything come to fruition and to see what the life map has done for me as far as seeing what assets I would need in my life for me to be successful and then now giving it to the, the youth in the city of Wilmington has very, been a very, um, very eye-opening okay. experience. Well, so, uh, or I'll ask you, it's, it's kind of a... A storytelling is that is that how how it's presented to, to the young people because obviously getting their attention is is key number mm -hmm. one so so how is it that you're able to to bring out their adversities and and their hopes and their dreams is it through a, a kind of a storytelling type yeah, of it's, round it's, table? it's definitely an authentic and honest story I think the biggest thing that we do myself and the facilitators that work in the program we make a sacrifice first I think for a lot of these youth whenever they come into a program they're usually asked for something but we haven't created an opportunity for them to feel comfortable introducing themselves and uh, when I come in front of the crowd and I have my life map they but they tend to understand that adults weren't youth before as if we weren't 14 we weren't 17 we weren't making right. mistakes so they're like 
you could not understand what I'm going through, but that's the furthest thing from the truth. So when I'm able to get into my life map and let them know that I had a lot of points in my life that threaten the success that I'm currently enjoying and that I was able to overcome that and it was only because those key assets being in my life they're able to say wow he's actually either going through something I'm going through or someone else who has a life map has gone through it and that's how you create those really high impact mentors so the life map what it does is it creates that honest and authentic conversation you're able to get right to the root of the matter and once you're able to help someone through that adversity they feel very very comfortable talking about now this is where I want to go and this is who I want to be because it's not always comfortable talking about adversity mm -hmm. right. uh, especially when you come from you know, meager backgrounds, and you might have parents who are, you know, in trouble or something like that. So, so if, I guess you have to get th that comfort level of uh, first right. and get them to trust you and then to go and go forth with that. Definitely, yeah. Once that comfort level is established, what we do is we have our facilitators, McQuan, and then there's four other individuals that are his age that have been through the Life Map experience previously. And now they're able to look at youth that are their age that mm -hmm. have been through the Life Map experience, and I've been able to let them know that I understand that things are not going to be easy for me. I've been able to accept that, but that doesn't have to dictate who I am. I mean, one of the statements that we say is that your attitude determines your latitude. So however you look at life and however you're perceiving how successful you'll be is pretty much where you're destined to go. So we're able to have that fruitful and productive conversation with the youth, and we're really able to understand that each of them have a period of success. And one thing that we always say is that let no one define your success. Always be always be able to define your success for yourself. And, and Alexander, would you, would you agree that Hopefully, you would, these t youth or these teenagers become kind of agents of change in their community so they can go Absolutely. forth into the city of Wilmington Absolutely. and affect others. Um, and well, I mean, what, what Mayor Williams and the Williams administration is looking for is to create young people who are active, engaged, and participate in their community. Um, this is just one partnership that we have, but there is the Office of the Mayor Scholarship. Um, there's the Summer Youth Job Program. There's this Life Skills Program. There's a food program. There's a lot of other ways that we try to reach out and engage our young people within our community. So what we're looking for is not only just to build them up, but build them up so hopefully they can give back. That's important. That's, that's part of it. And McCoy, as we mentioned, the program is already two weeks old, but say mm -hmm. some young people are watching right now and they want to become involved in this and they want to develop their own life map and discuss their own mm -hmm. issues and adversities, how can they do that? Um, the life map is very a very creative experience. I mean, it could be literally anything of how your outlook on life is. You know, like no, no fi one, two fingerprints are the same. No one person's life is the same, but we all have went through adversity. So it, the life map process starts anywhere. You can create it out of anything, literally. But it's just a summer. It's it's, it's just a summer type of program mm -hmm. right. for now. Definitely, mm -hmm. yeah. The partnership is just based around the uh, summer employment program with the city of Wilmington. But we're looking for areas and opportunities to be able to have these kids that are currently in the program and that benefit from the life map experience to go out and be those champions for the effort to go into your communities, to go into your schools, and to explain to you what I've gone through and this is how I'm able to make sense of what I've been through and this is how I'm making sense of where I want to go. And as McQuan alluded to, it, it really gives individuals the opportunity to own something. I mean, that's really what we're talking about in these sessions is that you own your life story. You own how the rest of it goes. You may not have been in control of a lot of the things that you've been through, but you determine what it's going to look like at the end. And when you give someone that kind of power and you let them know that there's still more life to be lived, it gives them a, an amazing outlook on their life. Because at the age of 16 or 17, you have some youth that believe it's over. And that's, that's a terrible way to look at life. And when you give them the opportunity to know that maybe when I was 17, 20, or even 25, I had a tumultuous adversity to go through, but I'm still here. I'm still pushing along. And I'm still going towards the success that I desire for myself. That's wonderful. And, and this partnership between the United Way and the city of Wilmington, uh, you know, it's hopefully something that will continue to uh, to expand beyond the summer. Is it, would you say so, Alexander? I mean, we're always looking to work with community partners and community members in ways that can benefit the city as a whole or especially youth in our community. I mean, this is, this is one partnership that we have, but we have several other partnerships that we look to maintain and somehow try to make them grow. Okay. And our final seconds we have left, Orrin, what, what, is, what is your hope that the kids who participate in this program, when they leave, um, what do you hope that they, they take with them? Well, I'm hoping that they take with them that everything that you've been through has gotten you to this point right now. Mm -hmm. Nothing has stopped you. You're still here. Um, and 
basically what I want you to understand is that that adversity is not going to hinder you, but in fact it could be fuel. It determines how you look at your life. And no matter what you've been through, you still have the opportunity to define your success. So when those youth leave the room, we hope that they become contributing and productive members of their community and allow other individuals that are currently going through instances that they don't feel they can get over that I was able to get through this and that they were key assets in my life to help me overcome that adversity and reach the success that I desire. Sounds great. Orrin White, uh, Alexandria Coppage, McQuan Higgins, thank you very much for Thank you for joining us and discussing this wonderful program. That'll do it for Delaware Perspective. Thank you for joining us at home. Until then, I'm Rick Williams here on 6ABC. Have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you next time. Take care.